focal point of the headlands feature is. We'll go to headlands here, and uh, you gotta have to have a boundary set up on your field already. So either drive around it uh, initially and, and set up your boundary. Uh, this is a little boundary map. Uh, had some waterways here that drowned out, and uh, and now we can farm through them here again. So it's an old map, but it'll work for our, our example here. So you create your boundary, easy enough, boundary type. I got a 40 foot planter, 20 foot left side, if you drive around that way and such. Mark it around, go our headlands here, and we can enable headlands as such. Okay, and we have this set up, you can uh, create uh, different types of top and bottom and so forth uh, all the way around and being a headland uh, all the way around uh, or just top and bottom and then you then you choose what you want or driven. Uh, I've never used driven I guess but as far as top and bottom goes you'll get to edit it here and choose implement widths and so forth. Uh, heading would be uh, 90 if you want uh, on this side and this side since the heading is east and west kind of and scaling is set to uh, one as far as uh, the rotation of uh, of how it's figuring the 90 degree so anything uh, at 90 or, or 89 or 91 it'll take also as, as the headland uh, you can set the widths as far as uh, implement is concerned uh, I, it, since it was an old boundary and I shifted over a, a tad, I have, uh, I have adjusted it as such here. Once that's set up, you can choose your work area if you want just to work in the headlands or the work area. Or the hall. Uh, since we're going to do this, uh, I did not plant all the way on this side over here. We'll need to uh, create that fake headland, and I just need one swath pass there. You can save it if you want to save it, or just enable it as such. And when we come up to the end here, we'll show how that goes. Now we're coming up on the end of our uh, pass here, and utilizing the headland feature, you either want to do it uh, for you know planting your headlands last, um, for example, or if you are uh, maybe you're splitting up a field, you don't know how far uh, one product will take you into the field, and so you want to do it last, and so you don't you just can go up and down until you know that you're uh, gonna run out of seed and that's where you wanna quit and uh, maybe uh, plant something else in that same area. Okay, if we notice here, uh, yeah, it's hard to see. Let's go back to this here, there you go. You can see that blue line crossing right in this area here. That is gonna be our shutoff period. And it's gonna automatically shut off when we get across there, whether it's seeded on the other side or not, since we are in work area only. Right here, there's an area I didn't see it yet. Okay, here we're coming up that pass that is, doesn't have anything seated on the headlands, and you can watch it as uh, we drop our implement down and cross over to that area. Soybeans and corn, so 